If I create a video because of your comment, I'll give you a shout out. So be sure to let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. All right, I'm ready to start building my circuit, but I need a way to connect it to power. So I have my voltage regulator here, which is my 12 volt step up regulator. And I've got my battery. However, my battery isn't gonna plug into my voltage regulator. I'm going to need to get the, uh, the male portion of this T connector or Dean's connector, Dean's plug, okay? But I don't have it, so what I'm going to do, what I do have is I have a male and female end of a two pin JST connector. Okay, so I can take these and actually I can replace this Dean's plug with a two pin JST connector. Now typically the female end goes on the battery side. The female end is the end where the pins go in. The male end is the end where the pins come out. So this will go on my circuit itself and then this will go on to the actual battery. I also have three pieces of heat shrink tubing. Um, the problem that I'm going to have is that I have these tiny little wires here and I have these 14 gauge wires here. I think these are 22 gauge. Um, so going from 22 gauge to 14 gauge there isn't going to be a heat shrink that's going to easily wrap around this thicker wire and wrap around the smaller wire. So I'm going to use the black to thicken up the insulation on the red or on these uh, smaller wires and then I'm going to use the green to get it even thicker and then I'm going to use the yellow which will slide over both of them and because I've thickened the wire with these two other layers of insulation it allows the yellow to grab onto this end as well. First off the most important thing to remember is don't forget to put your heat shrink tubing on. Okay, so I always put this on first. And normally I'd cut this in half, but I want the extra, just for the extra extra support. So I'm gonna use a nice long piece. And just a reminder, you can pick these up on Amazon, uh, like the 300 set piece, or a 300 piece set for like 15 bucks. Um, they come in this length of like nine different sizes. So they're already pre-cut for you, about the same, about the right length. So again, I'm going to put the green, or the black on, and then the green is going to slide over that. And then the yellow is going to go over that. And the yellow will fit over both the wires. Okay. So now, these are already tinned. So I don't need to worry about these. This, however, I'm going to need to cut off. I'm going to take this tag off too. That's kind of annoying. Um, I need to cut these off, but it's very important. Do not cut both of these wires at the same time. Okay, if you cut them both at the same time, I'll pretend that this is a cutter, then you're going to short these two out with this metal device. Okay, so if I had these cutters here and I cut both of them, it would short out with this metal and it could shock you and at the and even if it doesn't shock you you're going to short these out and possibly start your battery on fire so what i like to do is i always like to cut one end first and then i continue to work with this end and i leave this end alone so i only ever have one end exposed Okay, and this is 14 gauge. All right, I'm going to tin this. Oops. Now I'm holding the solder on the top of the wire, just like I do with the smaller wires, and I'm waiting for it to start melting. Put a little more on the soldering iron itself, so I can transfer heat. Oh, it's starting to melt. Okay, so now I know that my wire is hot enough. This is a little thicker, so it's going to take more wire than, or more solder than a typical wire would. But you can see I didn't melt the insulation. 
and the solder still looks good. The you can see all the strands. There isn't too much solder on there. Okay, now I'm ready to solder the two reds together. Just going to put some solder on the soldering iron. Now I'm going to apply soldering iron to the bottom. Okay. And what I did was I reheated the solder that was used to tin these wires and I created a nice connection between the two wires. So now they're soldered together. Okay, and now I'm going to do my heat shrink so I can close all this up and there's no chance of possibly um, causing any damage. Okay, so the first step is to get this black one out. There it is. Okay, and like I said, that's not going to go over both. It's too small to go over both. Okay, and now I will move the green one over, which almost fits over both, but not quite. So we'll shrink this one up. Okay, and now you can see that after the black and the green went on, my thickness of wire is about the same between the two. There's just a slight di difference, but that's enough that the yellow is going to cover that gap. Okay, now we're good, and this isn't going to expose any wire for us. So now I can get started on the black part. And there we have it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.